Okay, so on the other side here, we've got a uh, rooftop heating cooling unit, gas fired for heating, electric air conditioning. Notice a couple of things right off the top. Gas piping's corroded, needs to be painted. Gas piping does have supports, a little rotted. No uh, insulation underneath the uh, wood curbing though to again, take the weight off the roof. Gas valve says the gas is on, so hopefully it could work. I can hear the fan running, but let's just check the power. Switch is on. Power wire, don't like to see the power wire running across the roof. It will obstruct the water flow. That should be clamped up to the unit and out of the way. Okay, so the first thing we want to know, again, is how big and how old this guy is. So we'll go to the data plate. And it's a Lennox unit. Model number gives you the size. Uh, the 95 here on the Lennox units are 95,000 BTU. It's actually a seven and a half ton. Uh, cooling unit and we need to find a serial number now to uh, get how old it is. Okay, I don't see a serial number there. Oh, here we go. On the economizer unit, which looks original, same color, paint, same fade, serial number says it is from 1986. So we've got a 25 year old rooftop unit, which is beyond its normal life expectancy, but it's still going. Now, in a worst case scenario, or if you just want to verify the size, you can always look at the data plate to get what the uh, compressor voltage and RLA is. So in this particular case, we can see that the uh, voltage for the unit is 600 volts, three phase power, and same for the compressors. So it's 600 volt, three phase, it's got two compressors, number one, number two, both are the same size. Each has an RLA of 6.6 .6 amps. The rule of thumb with these units is that you draw roughly 1.4 amps RLA per ton of cooling. So each one of those compressors is about four tons, which jives with the model number that said 95,000 BTU. So uh, that's consistent.